Dad, what exactly does it mean when something has a natural frequency? I keep hearing that in engineering classes. Good question, Steve. A natural frequency is the rate at which a system tends to vibrate when disturbed without any external forcing or damping. So like a spring bouncing back and forth? Exactly. Take a simple mass spring system. If you displace the mass and let it go, it oscillates at its natural frequency, which depends on the mass, m, and stiffness, k. The formula is Fn equals 1 divided by 2 pi times the square root of k divided by m. So more mass means a lower frequency? Yep. A heavier system vibrates more slowly. Likewise, a stiffer system and with higher k vibrates faster. It's all about the balance between inertia and restoring force. But why does it matter in real life? Because if you hit a system at or near its natural frequency, it can enter resonance, which amplifies vibrations dramatically. Think of bridges shaking, airplane wings fluttering, or even wine glasses shattering when hit with just the right tone. So engineers have to design around that? Always. We try to shift natural frequencies away from operating ranges. That's why we use dampers, vibration isolators, or tweak the design's geometry or mass distribution. So in real systems, do they only have one natural frequency? Not at all. Complex systems can have multiple modes, like a guitar string vibrating in different harmonics. Structures, engines, even skyscrapers have entire frequency spectra. Makes sense. So controlling vibration isn't just about stopping movement. It's about knowing when it wants to move on its own. That's exactly it. If you understand a system's natural frequency, you can stop it from shaking itself apart. 